In 2011, the European Union passed the, the Radioactive Waste Directive. Can you shortly explain what it means? Well, it is a community framework which has to ensure that the waste management from the generation to disposal is ensured by all the 28 member states in the European Union. Why is it urgent that the member states start acting now? Well, waste management is something which needs a lot of time and it means that you also, if you look at disposal, and disposal is the end point of waste management, you need, and you know it from your country, decades. So the whole planning and, and uh, research needs very long and therefore if you don't want to improve impose undue burden on a future generation, which is one of the obligations to avoid imposing undue burden on future generations, you have to start now. Sweden, Finland and France are ahead when it comes to uh, creating a disposal for nuclear waste. Why would you say that is and can the other member states profit from that? Certainly, the other member states can profit because they can learn from the experience gained in Sweden, Finland and France, so they don't have to start and make all the experience themselves. There's a lot of international dialogue ongoing and this should encourage the other member states to follow and maybe the time could even be shortened if they do it stepwise and learn from the others. What happens if the states does not live up to the, 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 the directive? Well, there are clear rules in the community, so if there will be a dialogue between the Commission and the Member States, if they don't implement the directive properly, and if we can't find, uh, say, um, an arrangement in a friendly way, then it ends up in the Court of Justice, because the Court of Justice is the last instance to then decide what a Member State has to do. Does the Commission have any preference when it comes to methods for storage? No. Or disposal? For disposal, no, uh, this is up to the member states, therefore it's a framework directive. There's a lot of, say, freedom, I would call it, how member states do it. So the directive is silent on the host rock, for example, the directive is silent on the depths, the directive is silent on um, other details, so if you go horizontally or vertically, it's... Um, silent on the type of canisters, etc. Important is that the system, and the system means the canister, the backfilling material and the host truck is a system and this system must be demonstrated that it's safe. That's the, that's the obligation. What's the alternative for those states that does not have a solid bedrock, like for, let's say Sweden and Finland? Well, first, every member state has to screen their country and look if they have a solid back rock. Uh, it's easy to say we don't have a suitable uh, host rock, but if you look in detail, this may not be true. Eh? So, and in addition, it's not the host rock itself on its own, it's the system. Maybe you need a certain backfilling material or a different type of co uh, container, uh, and then only the system can, you can judge if it's suitable or not. And in addition, our directive encouraged also member states to work together. And they could do the work together with another member state and then have a joint disposal facility in a third state. But the third state has to agree upon. Thank you.